Hi, and welcome to Home Tech Adventure. Would you like to know how to restore your computer from an image that was saved with Clonezilla? We're going to do that in this video. In another video, I stored an image on this particular hard disk. We're going to take the image from this hard disk and we're going to put it onto this disk, which was, is actually a clone of what's in the computer currently. But what we're going to do is we're going to erase this disk and make sure it's completely blank. And I'm going to show you that you don't need any kind of special disk to restore. However, be aware that restoring from an image, you need to go back to the same type of disk that it started from for best uh, use and actually to be successful. So if you made your image from a hard disk, then you want to image back to a hard disk. If you made your image from a SSD, you want to clone back to an SSD. You don't want to mix the two types, at least not with Clonezilla. The results are spotty and probably in many cases will not work. But anyway, let's get into the computer and see how to do that. Now that we're in the Windows operating system, let's see what we're actually going to do. We're going to take the image that was stored on this test PC backup in the other video where I showed how to make an image backup uh, with Clonezilla. So we have that backup here. And then we're going to put it on this local disk. And the local disk actually is the full backup because we did that in the other video that I have on making a direct clone with an identical drive. But let's make it even a little bit more difficult. Let's go into disk management. Oops. And let's clean out this disk completely. Let's get rid of all the partitions on this disk too. So, oh, we can't get rid of the recovery partition. And remember, if you want to clean the entire drive, you can go into the command line and use, uh, use disk part. So let's right click. You have to run as administrator here. Click yes. Click disk part. List disk. And we know it's disk 2. So we're going to select disk 2 and type clean. There we go. And then exit and we should be good to go. Now let's look back into disk management and we should have a totally clean disk too. Let's not do anything with it. It's 100% on allocated partition so that's what we're going to use. I'm going to install that in this computer and we're going to restore from that image. So let me boot into Clonezilla and this um, computer I'm going to hold down F12 Remember, you may have to do some research on which key to hold down. I have some links in the description to help you out with that. But let me get into Clonezilla and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to restore from the image. Oh, I'm also going to put in that blank drive in place of the drive that you're seeing right now. So let me do that and we'll get, get right back to it. I'm holding down the F12 key and we got our drive. And again, the Windows partition is not showing. This is blank. That would actually be the Windows partition, but it's not even installed in the system right now. We have a blank disk in there. UEFI PMAT is our Clonezilla drive. So let's start with that. And we're in Clonezilla. So let's go into the default settings. We don't need anything really special in Clonezilla here. This is, we can just use a beginner mode, but it is a quite confusing. The Clonezilla people did not make this one easy to do. It's just kind of buried in menus and stuff like that. It's, it's a little counterintuitive as well. So let's wait until everything gets started up here. And there we go. And choose your language. I'm going to choose English. Choose your keyboard layout. I have the standard keyboard layout. And start Clonezilla. Okay, so we're going to work with an image. So this first one is what we're going to choose. Device to image. And it doesn't say on here, but you can go image to device here as well. And, and I don't know why it doesn't say that, but they don't make it easy to do. Okay, and it's going to be a local device. So we'll click local device and press enter to continue. Um, oh, insert the USB device now. So let me, 
let, let me put that in. Okay, that device has been plugged in. That's our hard disk where the image is located. And let's click enter to continue and see if it recognizes it. Now, sometimes it takes a while for it to be recognized or sometimes I have to re reinsert the USB several times to get it to show up. And it actually showed up. There's our GoFlex uh, drive. That's what we want. It says press control C to exit. So control C exits this window. And we'll get back to the main Clonezilla page once it's done going through all the different partitions and that type of thing. And what we have to do is select the right one. So let's see. Now we need to mount the device home image so we can read or save the image. That's the key. They can read or save the image. So we have to pick the right one. And we're going to go into XFAT here. Um, the other drive, by the way, has nothing on it. If you have a, a drive that does have an operating system on it, you might have to look a little bit more carefully, but we don't have a drive that has anything on it in here except that hard disk. So this is the one that we want. It's, it's uh, the second partition is the one that we want. So let's click that. And it says, you know, there is our image. I don't think you need to select the image. The current directory name is slash. We put it just in the top directory, which is what that is. We can just click that no cycle directory and then just tab over and click done. Or you can use the mouse and uh, select done and then hit enter and press enter to continue. And beginner mode is just fine. And restore disk this time. Restore an image to a local disk. So let's click that. There's our image. That's the only image that's on there, and that's the one that we want. That's the one we created in the other video. And there's our drive that we put in, the one that's completely blank. That The way it is that you would get it out of the box, that's our blank drive, and that's what we're going to restore to. Um, let's just skip checking um, the image before restoring. Um, because if it doesn't work, I'll just recreate this video. But you can do the yes if you want. We're going to do this for a time-saving thing. And then we're going to choose power off, shut down when everything's finished. So let's do that. And press enter to continue. And this is going to take a while. And I'm not going to spare you with all the different things. But, oh, we're going to have to choose yes a couple times here because we're going to totally get rid of that, uh, the information that's currently on that drive that we are restoring the image to. We got to get, we're going to get rid of all that stuff and they double confirm that you want to actually erase that, that particular disk. So we do and it should go into doing the partition tables and let's see, it's checking all of the stuff and there we go. So I will come back when this process is nearly finished and we'll show you how to, uh, that it actually worked. We're nearly done here, and when the data blocks are done, Clonezilla just assumes that the rest is blank, and so it just it just finishes. It only copies the data blocks. So that'll finish here in just a second. Let's take a look, 99%, yep, and that's all done. And it has, I think, one more partition to do, but the partition has nothing in it, so it should be very quick to do the other partition, the SDA5, it's called in Clonezilla's terms. That's a Linux way of describing a partition. It's been successful. Okay, so let's see it do the last partition. Um, oh, I think that was the last partition. No, it should be one more partition, yeah. This should take almost no time at all. And I was correct, it takes almost no time. Now we should be done. And once we're done, it should come up with a menu that allows me, because I chose it at the beginning, allows me to shut down or do whatever I want. It'll come up with a menu and do all of that stuff. So let's check it and we'll make sure it's good. Uh, remember that if you're trying to do this process, SSD to hard disk or hard disk to SSD, this may not work. You want to keep with the same type of disk that you started with either SSD to an image and then image back to SSD or hard disk to image and then image back to a hard disk. Press enter to continue and there we go. Now we can choose power off 
and let's power off and I'll reboot with that drive in the system and show you that it is actually working. Let me power off here. All right, I'm gonna press power on the computer. I've disconnected the Clonezilla disk because this computer has a very unsophisticated BIOS and just boots from a USB no matter what. Um, so I disconnected that. I disconnected the drive that we had the image on. So the only drive in there is the one we just created with that image on, on the computer. So let me press the start button and let's see what actually happens here. Will it boot up? So here we are with the splash screen and let's see, does Windows actually boot? It's starting to boot. And we should be good to go here. Just put in my super secret password for my example name on my test computer. And there you go. We can see that we got everything that we had before. We got all the same files that we had and, and all the same things. This is exactly the same. We can run it just as if nothing had happened. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this home tech adventure and learned a few things. I do want you to comment down below. Tell us your stories. How did your Clonezilla clone work? Were you able to do it successfully? I want to hear from you. Also, please like and subscribe and watch for more videos. If you want, you can even request another video. I'll see if I can accommodate you. But anyway, in any case, always have fun on your own home tech adventure.